All right, guys, how are we doing? Join me on day two of MRS test drive ish ship. I was gonna say ownership then, but I wish it was ownership because this car is fucking real good. It's real, real good. So, mixed carriage of sorted us out, as you can see, and sent us a fuckload of oil. We need this one for Josh's car. Right, so here we are in the MRS. It wasn't a bad drive, to be honest. It wasn't amazing, but as you can imagine on the motorway, not the best, but that's not what it's built for. It's manageable, though. You know, you could definitely drive it to the ring, I reckon. Yeah. Del Sol's still here. No one bought the Del Sol yet, Pete? No. Someone buy the fucking. And then we have Josh's new car. Which is not a Civic. Standard. How do you feel about the F20C? Uh, like <laughs> Glorified B series. <laughs> So this car is, well the plan is to get it K-swapped eventually. Um, you bought a K24? Oh right, okay, so he's already bought a... Yeah, I oh, did that chap on Instagram, so was it Toby? Yeah, shout out to Toby from Japan, who sorted Josh out with a um, K24 adapter plate so he can use the S2000 transmission. So yeah, this car is going K24. I mean the F-series are a good engine, I know they're, they're good, but... It's, it's, yeah, yeah. they're all right, but you know, K K is the way. You can just, I can see the comments just going into fire right now. No, uh, no, it's it's got the most power. It's the best. So Josh bought this after his EK blew up. Um, well, it didn't blow up. The the engine started knocking shortly after it was built. Um, still not too sure why, but Josh kind of threw his teddies out of the pram and thought, "Fuck the Civic," and he wanted an S two thousand, and here it is. So Josh has just been doing his uh, valve currencies on this this morning and um, later on we're going to be changing the oil. Hey Josh. Yeah. What is happening with these badges? Yeah, it's been painted in the mess and all the, the wings have been painted. Did not have a picture to copy on. Yeah. Wow, that, that's... Memory like, yeah. So you put the S upside down. <laughs> that's pretty, well the, the, the S is the right way on this side. Yeah, yeah on this side the S oh is God, actually this upside down. not even near the indicator on this side. <laughs> Oh, someone's had a bad time with this car, and that's not the end of the issue with the paint. If you have a look down here, someone sprayed the uh, valve cover in the wrong colour. Yeah, but they're not even taking it off. You can, I don't know if you can see down there, but it's, yeah, it's overspray all over the injectors and like on the pipes and stuff. Right, so we've got a plan for what we're going to do now. So we're going to change the oil on Josh's car, and then we're going to go out with the MRS and the S2000, and we're going to do a little comparison video I guess. Um, there's some nice roads around here. Take them both out and have a little, uh, little play. That'll be a different video to this one though. I'm going to make it its own video. Um, I might go all jazzy with it yet. I've not really decided. But yeah, we're going to change the oil on this. Get that done. And then we'll be going doing a cool little video hopefully. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Oh! Saved it. <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I got it. What's your favourite oil, YouTube? I've got a favourite. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know how you can get like attached to things like oils, but yeah. Have you seen those little brackets you can get on S two thousands to like try and hold the oil filter in? Because they're they're known for coming loose, aren't they? The oil filters on these. Yeah, apparently they uh, they vibrate loose the oil filters, and uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, just a quick update on the DC2 while we're here. Now, Pete's mate Jay has looked at the rust, and you know I was quite concerned about it, and all you said, oh, it's nothing to worry about, it's fine, don't worry about it. Well, it turns out it's actually nothing to worry about, and it can be quite easily fixed, which is good news. And um, it is kind of booked in, I guess you could say, but it's not going to be done for a couple of weeks because the guy who's doing it is, is quite busy. So, Teg is getting fixed. Teg will be back out next year on the Nürburgring. Fingers crossed, I'm sure it will be, we've got loads of time. Um, I've been speaking to a few different people over the past couple of weeks as well about some, some cool new parts for the car as well. Um, not made any calls just yet, but there's, there's quite a few different little things. Like I've said before, loads of little things that have been annoying me for ages, and may as well just get it all done at once. Um, still not decided on engines, I'm still thinking, considering going K24, but the issue is, all of our friends that have gone K24 have had issues so far. 
Um, all, all two of them, yeah, two, that's 100%, mate, two out of two is 100%. So Josh obviously had his issue with his K24, and then Enric, um, our Spanish friend with the S2000, had a, an issue with his K24 and his S2000. So, okay, I just don't know, I just don't know. They're all two litres. They're all K20s. <laughs> Yeah, but I think I think the issue is my KT28 has been solid. My my DC5 engine has been fucking mint. It's a DC5 engine. It is a DC5 engine, and it's sick. You know it is. So I might just stay with the DC5 engine master race and just leave leave the rest behind. I drove my dad's yesterday, and I won't have a two liter again. No, why not? It's fucking feels like this. Yeah, but you've not driven a K28. That's your problem. Um, so yeah, I'm still thinking. I, I do fancy going K24 just because it'll be something different. And um, when me and Josh had a battle last year, and he had his EK K24 track car, and I had a battle against him in this, you might have seen the, the Cadwell attack video. Yeah, just just the drive out of corners from the K24 compared to the K20. Yeah, there's quite quite a big difference, and that's that's kind of what I fancy because if you think the Nurburgring, there's there's a lot of corners, and just that little edge on every one of the corners would probably make the uh, sub eight goal quite a bit simpler, maybe. Uh, but at the same time, I kind of think, well, you know, I've got so close to it as I am now, why not continue as it is? But then at the same time, maybe we could just smash it with the K24. I don't know. See, I'm always thinking, and I can never make a decision. But sooner or later, I'll decide on an engine, and then, yeah, the tech will be back out. I don't want to go turbo. They're all going turbo, apparently, as well. I don't, I, I'm not keen on the turbo idea. Yeah, Enric, Adri, and possibly Josh now as well are going K-Series turbo for next year. Not in but, this. Yeah, not in this, but in your EK, right? Yeah. So yeah, but yeah, the tag is getting fixed. That's the main thing. Uh, once I decide what I want to do with the engine, then we can start doing the rest. I reckon. Uh, but let's say no rush. The goal is April um, next year to be back at the Nurburgring in the Integra. And uh, yeah, I've got let's say I've got plenty of stuff to keep me busy for now. And we've got a drift day this month in the E36 at Driftland in Scotland as well, so that'll be good fun. Um, I've got parts stacking up for the M3. There's there's loads going on. I've just not really had a chance to to video much lately. How are you getting on with that? Hmm? Oh yeah, how is Chucks? It's the bonnet. Man. Yeah? It's not connected. Ah! So we've got an engine. Oh, you've got his RBC as well. Nice. Yeah, Sweet. It's not, not far away then, is it? Not the H pickups. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's the oil change done on Josh's car. Just doing the final checks now. Yeah, we're going to head out and do a video with the MRS and the S2000. So like I say that'll be its own video, might be after this, might be before it, who knows. Oh there's a uh, Mini coming around here soon as well, hopefully I can catch it because there's a, a classic Mini um, coming around to visit and it's got a K20 in the back apparently, so could be a nice little K20 swap day. Right guys, so we just got back from the uh, test with the MR2 and the S2000. It was good, hopefully the video comes out well. Obviously I don't know yet because it's the same day it's just happened, but hopefully it works some magic. Now we've just got back to the unit, and uh, before I go home, because it's getting quite late, I don't know if you can tell, it's getting quite dark. Yeah, winter's definitely coming, it's getting dark so early these days, but before I do head home, there's quite a cool car just turned up. Uh, Josh is just in there having a quick work on it now. Can you see? 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 Right, so this Mini, um, it's definitely a Mini. I don't know a lot about Minis, so, so I don't know. What, what year is it? Uh, 93. 93, so it's quite a late one then. Yeah. yeah, right. So it's a Mini, but it's powered by... Can you work out what it is? Obviously it's a bit pearly at the minute, that's why it's here. You'll be able to tell by the inlet manifold, maybe. Where is the rocker cover? Is it about? Yeah, I'm going to set it here. Wow, that's filthy. But, it's a K-Series. It's a K20 engine, EP3 engine, Mini. And it's in here today because it's had a, a few issues with the way it's been running. Um, Josh has just been having a quick look at it now and noticed that the timing was out by quite a lot. And uh, yeah, Josh is just having a look now and explaining what's going off. But I just thought I'd give you a, a quick look. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Definitely some... Uh, like I doubt these are off the shelf quite like the oh, okay, swap stuff is, but... I think it was originally built by Zed Cars, but they've had quite a lot of issues since buying it. And uh, yeah, here it is now. Interior is all custom as well. 
it's quite unique seeing the uh, RPM gauge right in the centre of the steering wheel. If we come further into the interior, look at that, gated shifter. Is it a Ferrari or is it a Mini? Said cars. That's pretty cool. It's a lot of exhaust in such a small place, isn't it? Yeah. There's the intake in the uh, three quarter panel. Nice little carbon fibre piece. Is it a rally car then, with all them lights? REC Lombard. Hey, look at the time. Right guys, so I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thanks again to Mixed Garage for the oil. Don't forget, 15% off. Um, we got to look at the K-Swap Mini. It'd be nice to look at that car again in the future, maybe with some more light. Um, sorry that the image wasn't the best, but I thought I'd give you a quick look at it, just to uh, see if anyone's interested. As soon as I drove down today in a K-Swap MRS, I thought it'd be quite nice to see a K-Swap Mini at the same time, because you know these K-Swap Civics and Integras almost seem common these days, and it's, it's quite interesting and rare for, certainly for me, to see a K-Swap uh, MRS and a K-Swap Mini in the same day. That's, uh, that's pretty rare, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you next time.